coming on the screen is the life of Invest 93 Earl. Uh, shortly I'll be joined by uh, Adam uh, who will uh, provide the latest uh, information. Welcome to the uh, tropical uh, weather update, and here's uh, Adam with the uh, information. Thank you, David, and yes, guys, welcome to uh, Tropical Update. We are talking about Invest 93L. Now, this system we've been watching quite closely. Uh, as it has been developing over the Western Caribbean Sea, uh, earlier down in the Southwestern Caribbean. This system has been moving uh, very slowly towards the north or even northeast. And uh, this system had uh, mingled a little bit with land with uh, Nicaragua and Honduras now pulling its way away from land and as it does so uh, it's giving the system more chances to develop uh, and uh, the National Hurricane Center is monitoring this very closely uh, bringing up the percentages 50% chance of this thing actually becoming our next storm of the 2017 Atlantic season uh, but regardless if this system develops or not, it will be providing very heavy rainfall for areas such as uh, the Cayman Islands, Jamaica, and parts of Cuba, then eventually spreading to maybe portions of the Florida Keys or South Florida, and then the Bahamas thereafter. As you could see here on satellite imagery, within the past few hours alone, uh, overall the convective mass has increased quite substantially across the whole entire Western Caribbean area. Already rainfall falling on Jamaica, already starting to fall here in the Cayman Islands but also not to forget to mention with Honduras and Nicaragua, where there's already reports of uh, some flooding in three major cities in Honduras, and sadly, uh, nine reported deaths from the system already. Uh, so the system will continue eventually northwards and then eventually more northeastwards. And uh, again, as mentioned, impact uh, the areas in the northwestern Caribbean Sea and potentially even uh, towards South Florida and the Bahamas. So uh, the system had also interacted a little bit with a frontal boundary which came down over the um, over the Gulf of Mexico and into the northwestern Caribbean Sea over the last couple of days. This cold front has now become relatively stalled out over portions of the northwestern Caribbean Sea, but our uh, lower pressure area, um, again located here on not exactly attached 
to the frontal system, but uh, located to the south of uh, of where the tail of this front is. As the front weakens and uh, then dissipates, uh, the gap that's left remained by the front is still there, thus allowing the system to pull further north. Also, in terms of upper level conditions, um, the upper level winds, the wind shear has decreased and it's continuing to decrease, allowing the thunderstorm development over the system. And so it should allow for further development down the, uh, down the line. Here is the five day uh, formation probability graphic. Again, 50% chance, a moderate probability for the time being. That could uh, and probably will likely increase later today as the system organized. And uh, again, uh, highlighting the areas, uh, the main areas that would be impacted. Again, the Cayman Islands, Cuba, then eventually the Bahamas and this. So during the next five days, this is the main area to watch. And uh, just also here, here is the latest forecast models on Invest 93L. And as you can see with the models, it's pretty much clear to see uh, that it will be moving generally northwards, then northeastwards, and uh, you could generally form a general cone uh, where the system will probably be heading. And with this being the case, uh, likely more imminent threats, obviously, towards the Honduras coast here, but as this pulls away, a more imminent uh, threat then next to the Cayman Islands, specifically Grand Cayman, and then onwards towards uh, central and western Cuba. Again, because as, as you've seen on the uh, satellite imagery here, with uh, the majority of the activity mainly here off towards the east, off in this area here, um, you know, the, there will be uh, some heavy rainfall issues for Jamaica, uh, even eastern Cuba, and obviously the sister islands of the Cayman Islands, Cayman Brock and Little Cayman, as well as uh, portions of the Bahamas. It's even uh, produced.